Uh, the year 2025 arrived with a wave of unsettling headlines. Major corporations announced significant workforce reductions. Thousands of jobs were cut across various sectors. This was not a typical economic downturn. Something different was happening this time. While people received pink slips, companies were simultaneously rolling out advanced automation. The core idea is simple and stark. The era of robotic labor is no longer a future prediction. It is a present reality. This shift is happening quickly. It is reshaping the fundamental nature of work for millions of people around the globe. This quiet revolution is now making a lot of noise. The news reports paint a clear picture of this transformation. Amazon announced plans to reduce its corporate and technology staff. General Motors scaled back certain projects and let go of workers. Paramount Global made deep cuts to its workforce. The trend was not limited to offices or factories. Farms and food processing plants also began to shrink their human staff. These individual stories are not isolated incidents. They are connected dots in a larger pattern. This profound shift in the workplace affects different groups in different ways. The impact is not evenly distributed. Workers in roles that involve repetitive physical labor are among the first to be affected. This includes jobs in manufacturing, warehousing, and logistics. Assembly line workers, forklift operators, and packing staff are seeing their tasks automated. However, the change is not limited to blue-collar jobs. Many white-collar roles are also at risk. Data entry clerks, paralegals, and some accounting functions are being replaced by sophisticated software and AI that can process information with incredible speed and accuracy. The new workforce is becoming polarized. We can see this happening in real companies. At Amazon fulfillment centers, robotic arms now sort and move packages, reducing the need for human sorters. In agriculture, companies like John Deere are rolling out autonomous tractors that plow fields and plant seeds with minimal human oversight. This directly impacts farm laborers. Banks use AI to analyze loan applications and detect fraud, tasks once done by human analysts. Even creative fields are not immune. AI can now generate basic news articles, marketing copy and graphic designs, challenging junior roles. Why are so many companies choosing to hire robots instead of people? The primary driver is financial. From a business perspective, the logic is compelling. Robots represent a one-time capital investment, whereas human employees are an ongoing operational expense. A machine does not require a weekly salary, health insurance, retirement benefits, or paid vacation days. Robots do not get sick, they do not join unions, and they do not file HR complaints. They can operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, without needing a break or overtime pay. While initial costs can be high, return on investment can arrive quickly. Machines offer consistency and precision over long shifts. This leads to higher product quality and fewer errors, reducing waste and saving money. In a competitive market, producing faster, cheaper, and more reliably delivers a decisive edge, pushing businesses toward automation. Beyond finances, capabilities are improving exponentially. Sensors, cameras, and AI-powered brains let robots see, identify objects, learn, and make simple decisions, from delicate assembly to complex inspections. Certain governments treat robotics and AI as strategic priorities, offering subsidies, tax breaks, and grants to build advanced factories and boost competitiveness. Policy support lowers barriers and actively encourages investment, making automation both smart business and publicly rewarded. The widespread adoption of automation presents a critical choice. This wave brings significant opportunities and serious risks. On one hand, automation can create new and better jobs. Robots take over dull tasks. Robots take over dirty tasks. Robots take over dangerous tasks. Humans focus on creativity, critical thinking, empathy, and complex problem solving. 
New roles are emerging. Robot supervision, AI ethics, data analysis, system maintenance. These jobs can be safer, more engaging, and better paid. However, the risks are real. The most immediate is mass job displacement. If automation outpaces new job creation, unemployment and disruption rise, especially for mid-skill routinized roles. Transitions aren't guaranteed, technical background and finances may be lacking, widening a skills gap and increasing inequality. If gains flow to technology owners and highly skilled managers, income shifts from labor to capital, eroding the middle class. We could use productivity gains to improve life, shorter work weeks, even explore universal basic income, or let markets push people to work longer to compete with machines. The path we choose will shape our quality of life and social cohesion. When we discuss automation, it is easy to focus on economic data and technological trends, productivity, efficiency, job statistics. But behind these numbers are real human lives. For an individual, losing a job is not just a financial event. It is deeply personal and often traumatic. A job provides income, a routine, a sense of purpose, and a social network. For many, work is core to identity. When that is taken away, psychological impacts can be severe. A cascade follows. Stress, anxiety, depression, and financial strain for families. Financial insecurity affects housing and children's education. Without daily work structure, people can feel disconnected. These human costs are too often overlooked in policy discussions. It is not easy for a 50-year-old factory worker to return to school to learn programming. The process can be intimidating, expensive, and time-consuming, with no guaranteed job at the end. Retraining must be approached with empathy, robust support, and mental health services, helping people rebuild identity and purpose, not just find a task. A society is measured by how it treats all its members, especially during times of great change. In 2025, we can envision two futures. The path is not predetermined, it will be shaped by our choices. One future is collaborative, humans and robots side by side, each leveraging unique strengths. Robots and AI take on repetitive, physically demanding and data intensive work. They operate heavy machinery and analyze vast data sets performing routine calculations with perfect accuracy. This frees people to do what humans do best. Empathy, creativity, complex strategic thinking and social interaction. Doctors spend more time with patients as AI handles paperwork. Teachers provide more individualized attention while grading and planning are automated. Engineers focus on breakthroughs as robots run tedious tests. Technology augments human capability, elevates skills, and improves quality of life. Work becomes more engaging, more creative, more fulfilling. However, another future is bleak. Mass unemployment and a fractured society. Displacement outstrips retraining. Segments become unemployable. A small elite owns technology, while a vast underclass has no role or income. Social unrest spreads, Productivity gains aren't shared, and wealth concentrates, advancing technologically while breaking socially. The message of 2025 is clear and urgent. The age of intelligent automation is here. It is transforming our world. We cannot afford to be passive observers. We must act now and shape this transition to benefit all of society. This requires a coordinated effort governments, businesses, educational institutions, individuals. The story of our automated future is not yet fully written. We can balance technological progress with human dignity and shared prosperity. The time to begin that work is now. The first and most critical action is massive investment in education and retraining. Governments must work with companies and schools to create clear, accessible, and affordable pathways for workers to acquire new skills. These programs must be a central pillar of economic policy. Support displaced workers with income assistance and guidance through transition. 
protect the role of workers through unions, worker councils, and a seat at the table to shape fair automation. Businesses must look beyond short-term profits, consider societal health, invest in the workforce, and provide on-the-job training to help employees adapt. Debate new taxation ideas and stronger safety nets seriously and openly. We hoped you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, or a robot will on your behalf. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Please join us for the journey.